Now, in regard to this 1 over 2 pi, we are always able to split that up between the forward and inverse transforms. Why? Well, because they came from the same equation in the first place. So, there are lots of different ways of writing the Fourier transform, and they are all equivalent. For example, we could leave the 1 over 2 pi in the forward Fourier transform and have only a factor of 1 in the inverse transform. We could split it up so there's a 1 over root 2 pi in both. Or what we could do is have a, a 1 in the forward transform and a 1 over 2 pi in the inverse transform. The final thing I'd like to say is we, we were doing this using omega. We can always go back to 2 pi times nu the frequency. And if we do that, and it's quite simple using the same steps, we in actual fact don't get any scaling term. And that shouldn't, that shouldn't uh, surprise you because we have a 2 pi here and well, we actually just incorporated the 2 pi up here. And that's really all that happened. So written in front of you are four different ways of writing the Fourier transform, all of which are equivalent. One final point which I'd like to mention before we, uh, before we conclude in order to use the Fourier transform and its inverse, you must use what are known as Fourier transform pairs. So, for example, in this particular case, small f of t and capital F of omega are known as Fourier transform pairs. And this is because, as we've seen in the past, we can rewrite both the forward and inverse transforms using a single equation, something like I have here on the top. There is only there is usually only one corresponding f of omega for a small f of t. And that's why, like I said, they're known as a Fourier transform pair. So that's all I have to say about that. I appreciate that it has been quite a long video. However, I'd like to think that I have discussed all of the particularly important points uh, to the relevant or in the relevant depth. So thanks for watching. Please pass this video to your friends. You might also recommend my videos to your friends. You might also subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on universityphysicstorials.com.